Whoa, give it up for your host on Akana you've seen uh, so far, huh? Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Guys, I need this to go well. It's been a tough week already. Learning the song My Immortal by Evanescence will still make me cry. A friend from high school reminded me that my nickname in high school was Meat Fist because I grew into these hands. And someone told me I looked like a Jason Siegel fuck Shrek. It's going great. To let you guys know, I'm not very cultured. Not cultured at all. Until recently, my dad thought that Prague was pronounced Prey Goo. <laughs> the most traveling I've ever done was on a Carnival cruise ships, which is a fucking awful way to travel. <laughs> the Walmart of cruises. <laughs> There's just like a bunch of kids running around and like adults next to them, like, are these your kids? Like, I've never seen these kids before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the inventor of Carnival Cruise Ships was just like on a crowded elevator once and was like, we should do this on boats. <laughs> I grew up in the South, uh, and all you guys know, do not believe everything you hear. The South is not all that bad. You know, I personally think of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is a wonderful place. If you're also fans of syphilis, <laughs> and racist miniature golf courses. I got a hole in one at Charlie Chang's railroad adventure 10 years ago and I still feel guilty about it. It's awful. I actually grew up in a Stafford, Virginia. Anybody here been to Stafford, Virginia? You haven't been there, don't lie to me. Seriously? Oh shit, you're gonna love this one. I was from that shitty place between you and Woodbridge. <laughs> but no, it's funny, a lot of people like try to argue that, you know, like we're not the South, because like, you know, we're like near DC, like we're urban. But I knew we were in the South because all I learned in my sex ed class was condoms don't work. All they told us was like, condoms don't work and you can get pregnant from a blowjob. I don't, I don't understand the body, but that doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, it's terrible. Uh, my sex ed class, it was literally just us going through PowerPoint presentations of horrible STD symptoms. <laughs> just, and, and, and there was this guy in my class, it was amazing. His name was Mook, uh, Mookie Washington, and um, he would go nuts at every slide, be like, oh, fuck, is that his asshole? <laughs> It was amazing. So we had to watch a video uh, of, of a birth uh, to get ready for a test, and um, a birth that resulted from a blowjob. <laughs> and Mookie watches it, and he freaks out. He's like, "Oh fuck! Is that the head?" Ah! <laughs> so we watched it the first time, and then the next day we watched it again. But what we didn't know is that Mookie had an identical twin, oh, no. and they would just go to each other's classes for no reason. So we watch it, and, and he's just like, oh, fuck, is that the head? Oh, no. And we're like, why are you still so surprised by this? We saw this yesterday. What was Mookie's brother's name? I want to know this. We never, we never learned. I Mookie one and Mookie two. I can imagine like his, his other his brother's name is like Archibald or something. Uh, that would awesome. Guys, if it's not obvious, uh, I live a pretty exciting life. <laughs> Had a dream the other night where I went to Subway. <laughs> Let's all just remember the dreams are realms of infinite wonder and possibility. <laughs> and I went to Subway. <laughs> And I ordered, I, I, I showed up and I ordered a full-on meatball sub, because it's a dream! And, and I go to pay for it with a gift card, and the cashier's like, there's not enough in here to cover this. And I was like, oh. And then I woke up. I went to go eat a Subway later that day, and I realized I'm literally living my dreams right now. 
lot of uh, sexy dreams growing up too. You guys ever had a sexy dream? Woo! Yeah, they're wonderful. <laughs> I mean, the kind of like where you're like you're asleep and sex happens. Not like Sunday I'll be a dentist. <laughs> um, but they always go the same way. Uh, like, like in the dream, I would wake up and I would be in a waterbed. Uh, and I look around and there'd be exposed brick in the room. I'm like, this is way too nice to be my house. <laughs> and then Lindsay Lohan would just appear and I'd be like, good, you're here. Because that's how I initiate. <laughs> and this is also me, girls, Lindsay Lohan, so it's not weird. <laughs> And she's like, are you ready for a Freaky Friday? I'm like, yeah, let's kiss in this weird place. <laughs> and then my dad would run in and be like, you need to back in the stairs! <laughs> because I get cock blocked in my dreams, everybody. <laughs> Think there should be a Transformer named Amazon Prime? <laughs> because when Megatron attacks, everyone's like, oh god, we need help. He says, I'll be there in two days. <laughs> I can be there tomorrow. <laughs> and everyone's like, meh. Nah. I've been David Thomas. Thank you so much. I'm watching you, man. <laughs>